Journal. Thank you so much for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to be talking about an online company I work for called Pagoda. Now, not too many people know of Pagoda. I spoke about it a few months ago. I'll be sure to post the link to that video in the description box below or somewhere up here linked above. So because not too many people know about the company, I'm going to be giving you some positives. I have 10 positives that I came up with about working for Pagoda and I'm going to share that with you today. Number one, Pagoda is a telephone English company. And what that means is that you don't work on camera, which is awesome for someone like me because I am a bit of an introvert and I get drained easily when I have to talk to people for long periods of time and sometimes just be in their presence. Although I am talking a lot and the one leading the conversations during my classes, I'm not on video and that kind of helps de-stress me a little bit. Another perk of not being on video is that I can literally look however I want. I could just roll out of bed and not have to do my hair. I could have my head scarf on. If I'm tired and I need to yawn, I could easily just pull away and come back and the student will never know. So those kind of things are definitely helpful because let's be honest, sometimes there are things that come up when you're teaching online and if you're on camera, it's a bit awkward if you need to take care of what you need to take care of in front of another person and sometimes unprofessional. So just being off camera just adds another level of comfort that I'm able to enjoy while I'm working. Number two, with Pagoda, I like the fact that I can work remotely. Now granted, when I first applied for the company, I was living stateside, so I didn't have any worries about being questioned about my location during the interview process. But since then, I am here in South Korea, and they know this, that turned out to be fine. And I know a few other people who are in other places and are doing the same thing, working remotely. So it's nice not having to be in one location. I like that for the most part, we get paid on time. Like technically we get paid early. There's never hardly ever issues when it comes to us getting our coins. The students could be really great to talk with. And I like that with Pagoda, even though that they provide lessons and the workbooks and textbooks, you don't necessarily have to stick to the plan. If the student would prefer to have free talking, then you can free talk for 10 or 20 minutes, however long your class is. And I like that option because Korean people, their culture seems to be not very expressive. And so when they get a chance to talk with foreigners, especially foreigners you can't see or you will probably ever meet, it gives you a chance to really express yourself in ways that you wouldn't ordinarily do with other people. So I'm not gonna lie, there are moments sometimes where I feel like a therapist and I'm just taking on a lot by trying to help them work through these issues. And a lot of times it has me questioning like, what? do your friends think? What advice are your friends giving you? And you slowly come to realize that like they're not telling their friends this. So when you're able to talk freely with your students, it kind of shines light on a bit of the culture that you never really knew existed. And it also lets you connect with students on a deeper level than if you were to just keep it to the lessons that Pagoda provided. Sometimes I can work from bed. Like literally, I'm just on the phone talking and I'm in bed. I do that with certain students though. Like there are some students that I've had for like a year. And with these students, for the most part, all they want to do is free talk. So it kind of feels like I'm just talking to a friend. I don't need the textbook, so I'm just in the bed and we're talking. Now, as you do have these classes, you do need to make corrections to anything that they say that might not be correct. Now, with these students that I'm in the bed talking to, their English is normally really good because they lead the conversation and they can just go for the whole 20 or 10 minutes that we're talking on the phone. But in situations where maybe they do make a mistake, it's normally so minor that I could just do it with one hand, make the correction with one hand on their profile and hit send and that's it. If the class does require more corrections, then of course I can't lay down in bed, but that option is still there for me with students whose English is pretty much damn near perfect. 
I haven't had an issue whenever I needed to reach out to management. And with the management change, things might be a little shaky with how things are done as of late, but they do initially respond to you when you ask a question and depending on what you're asking, you might get an answer super fast or they might delay that a little bit. I guess they need to check out some things on that end first before answering because I guess there are just some things they don't know. But again, for the most part, you're able to communicate with management really fast. Pagoda gives you different ways to communicate with students. So for example, what I mean is when you get with the company, there is this program that you can download and you can use to call your students when you have classes with them. But this program does not always work. In fact, it never worked for me. When this happens, Pagoda reaches out to you and they will send you a phone. This is what my phone looks like. They give you everything you need to plug it up and you're good to go. And of course, having this phone and having it shipped to you and everything is free of charge. So it's definitely helpful having backups like this. I like that the website is really easy to use for the most part. Like there aren't a whole bunch of buttons and things for you to understand and things to confuse you. This is just pretty simple. There's a web page and you have about, I don't know, seven or eight different columns. One column is telling you how many students you have for that day. The next column is telling you the textbook or the type of class you'll be having. You have your start time, your finish time, how long that class is, the name of the student, their contact information, the level they are, the status of the class, meaning if it's on hold, if it's gonna be canceled. And then under info, you just have a button for you to click to open up that student profile, get the textbook and start class. So all in all, it's really pretty easy to maneuver. Whenever I need to take off, I don't have an issue like ever. Like I've never had an issue. If I needed to call out for the day, it was no problem for me to send a quick email like, hey, I can't work um, tomorrow or next week or whatever the case is. If I needed a week off, that was never a problem. I have never received the answer, no. So that is a positive if you feel like you just need a break a little bit from Pagoda or you just need to tend to other things in your life and it's perfect for you. There is absolutely no lesson planning needed whatsoever. Everything is provided for you. You have a workbook and the workbook gives you a dialogue to go over. It has follow-up questions for you to ask and it has questions for you to go through with the student checking their knowledge of the subject you just went over. The only thing you might have to do is there are classes that have um, articles where you would discuss with them instead of like a workbook where you're going over a dialogue and answering questions, which are a bit easier to just open and do. With the articles, you do kind of need to read beforehand. For the most part, those articles, they don't take you any longer than two or three minutes to go through. Again, there's really no prep on the teacher's behalf needed to teach these classes. Once a year, all the teachers, no matter where they are in the world, they get mailed a gift and they are pretty good quality gifts. Last year, we got these really cute keychains that turned out to be flash drives, which I really liked because that's something I could use. And this year, they actually gave us a choice. So they sent out emails, they asked everyone what they wanted, and then they asked us all to vote. I actually just got my gift for this year, and I'm gonna open it with you guys to show you the kind of quality gifts that the teachers get. So let's see. Okay. First thing I see is an envelope. Let's see what it says. Dear Sophia, we wish you a wonderful end of 2019 and a bright new start to 2020. We would also like to take this opportunity to wish you and your family a warm and happy new year. We deeply appreciate your work and dedication. Truly, we will do our best to support the teachers. We wish you a blessed 2020. Thank you, Pagoda. Very nice. Let's see what else we have. The hottest, best teacher ever, Pagoda. <laughs> this is nice. And it looks to be good quality. Mm -hmm. And we got more. Okay. Right. 
we got a little tumbler here. Now I have like a little tumbler to fill with tea or water or whatever. And it looks again to be really good quality. I don't think I have a tumbler, so this is nice. Nice. Lock and lock. I like that it's small. I can fit it in like my backpack if I want to go traveling. Um, it would be cool if it had like a little string here. So this way I can just like hold on to it somehow. But it's really nice. I like it. Okay, guys, so that's all I have for you today. If you have ever thought of Pagoda and you saw the name, but you wasn't too sure what the company was about or what the perks were like working for the company, I hope that this video gave you some insight and probably helped you make a decision on whether or not you wanted to work for the company. There is a Facebook group open to members, and I wanna stress members because we wanna keep this a safe space for Pagoda teachers without being monitored in any way. It's only open for people who currently work for Pagoda or who have just applied for Pagoda and they're about to have their interview process. So if you are any of these people, please join our Facebook group. It's a good way to support each other. If you have questions about your classes, if you have an interview coming up and you are a bit nervous about how it's gonna go, this group is perfect for you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time, bye.